Okay, so I'm, I'm very upset right now because I logged on to my YouTube channel today to find that I have a strike against it in the form of a copyright claim from the organization known as Pure Paranormal. Pure Paranormal is a ghost hunting group, and they do have a YouTube channel here for you guys to check out. Now, the video in question was titled, Brian and Baxter Debunk Pure Paranormal. It was my content, my footage of Brian and Baxter, paranormal claims investigators, debunking Pure Paranormal uh, in their performance at Skeptic Camp 2011 in Colorado Springs. Now, in this footage, there were uh, a lot of things that could be considered criminal activities on the part of Pure Paranormal, such as claiming that they teach at CSU, Colorado State University, when in fact they only got permission to run a ghost tour through part of CSU's property. This ghost tour is something that they call Ghoul School. Now, also in the video were things that uh, could be considered criminal because they were desecrating and vandalizing graves and um, bringing a, a, a lot of undue uh, disturbance to the Evergreen Cemetery here in Colorado Springs. The response from the municipalities uh, that Brian and Baxter contacted after their investigation when they went on a ghost tour with Pure Paranormal, the, the response was in the footage, um, and Pure Paranormal got banned from Evergreen Cemetery. A as a direct result of Brian and Baxter's investigation. Now, understandably, Pure Paranormal is upset, but this is a freedom of speech issue because this was criticism of Pure Paranormal. The footage was not of Pure Paranormal. This this footage was me filming Brian and Baxter at Skeptic Camp 2011. It had a few clips of their ghost tour in it, you know, where they used their footage of their uh, of the ghost tour, and they also had the logo for Pure Paranormal up on the screen behind them, but they were criticizing Pure Paranormal when they did it. That's that's nothing that Pure Paranormal can claim is their property. I was filming Brian and Baxter's property, okay? And I had permission to do so. And I've talked with Brian and Baxter today. Both of them will be at my side because I am filing a counterclaim against Pure Paranormal and lucky me, we're both from the same area, so if it does go to court, I don't have to travel that far to see them in court. And I will have my cameras, as well as Brian and Baxter's cameras, as well as pretty much the entire skeptic community in the area who will want to see Pure Paranormal lose a court case uh, because they are going up against freedom of speech. So... What you guys can do for me now would be to please mirror this video. This video, not the Brian and Baxter footage. You can if you can handle an entire hour long of, uh, of footage. You can do that. But uh, there will be a link in the description box to me putting their video on my domain, agentofdoubt.com. Uh, and also, please take a look at Pure Paranormal's YouTube channel. Um, they have a lot of things that uh, need some scrutiny. And uh, also, one, one other little thing. There was a channel that popped up called iGirl Friday. Um, I know with, with my channel that uh, when someone doesn't like criticism of themselves and they make a sock account uh, just to comment on my video. When I, when I go to that channel and I find that the, the channel was created on the same day that they uh, 
are putting all this criticism up. You know, it's pretty obvious that it's a sock account. So uh, please check out Pure Paranormal and iGirl Friday. Uh, give them a lot of scrutiny for me. And thanks in advance to everyone who mirrors this video. Take care.